The Eucharistic revival that sparked that nationwide pilgrimage and the Congress happening soon began because of a 2019 Pew Research study that caught the bishop's attention. It found about 69% or two-thirds of U.S. Catholics said they do not believe the bread and wine become Christ's body and blood and that they are just symbols. A more recent study, however, found that may not be the case. The Catholic firm Vinia Research says it's actually the opposite. Their study says 69% of mass going Catholics do believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. Here to explain these new findings is Hans Plate, the founder of Vinia Research. Hi, Hans. Hello, Christine. Good to be here. I'm glad to have you here. So let's get to the bottom of this. Why are the numbers so different between your study and the one done by Pew Research? Well, I, I think it fundamentally comes down to the way the question was asked. So Pew's wording was around the phrase actually becomes, right? So they were saying, or the options they gave were that the bread and wine actually become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And when we first noted that language when they came out with the study in 2019, it kind of struck us as just being very different from anything that we've heard uh, through Catholic teaching or what comes out of the, the catechism or the USCCP's document. And so we use slightly different language that we felt aligned better with what Catholic teaching was, which is using the phrase either truly present or real presence. And in our, our structure of the question, we use the term uh, truly present. So Jesus is truly present uh, in the bread and wine, uh, as opposed to being actually, you know, the, the bread and wine actually becoming. Uh, the body and blood. So that that was one area um, where I think there was a major difference between the two the two studies that that was conducted. Um, the other is that we wanted to make sure that the response options that people had to select from were mutually exclusive, uh, because technically uh, the bread and wine are symbols, but they're not as the as the the U.S. bishops say they're not merely symbols. So there's a symbolic um, element component to them, uh, but it's more than that. And so that's one of the things that we you know, corrected in our study as well. And so we saw uh, a pretty, pretty significant change from what we saw in 2019. It really comes down to wording there. As we just reported, it's been two years since the Eucharistic revival began. And with the Eucharistic Congress just a week away, why are the results of the Vinia study so significant now? Well, I, th I think um, I think if you want to measure uh, a topic as nuanced and complex as belief in the real presence, I think it's really important to just be as accurate as possible and use the correct language. Um, I think the there is still the issue of whether or not people do truly and uh, have a deep understanding and belief in the real presence. So even in our study, for example, we show that 51% of Catholics that go to Mass just once or twice a year believe in the real presence, but obviously they're not going to Mass. So what is the depth uh, of that belief? And I think that's something that ab ab absolutely needs to be uh, corrected through all the activities that the uh, Congress and, and the Revival are having. Absolutely. So will you be doing any other follow-up studies after the Eucharistic Congress? You know, what are your plans for the future? Yes. Well, so we're, we're in the midst of um, designing a new survey around the kerygma and, and Catholics' belief around the kerygma, and we will certainly be asking some questions around the real presence. Not, not so much with the goal of comparing our results to uh, pews, but just really in trying to get an understanding of what, what Catholics do believe on the subject, because, like I said, it's a nuanced uh, uh, topic that needs to be addressed a little bit differently, I think. All right. Looking forward to that. Hans Plate, founder of Vinia Research, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me, Christine. To learn more about all things related to the National Eucharistic Pilgrimage and Congress, just go to EucharisticRevival.org. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.